Hello and welcome to another one of my videos. Today I've got a very special ration and I'm returning to a country I've not been to for a long time and that is back to Italy. I have an Italian Armed Forces 24 hour ration. This particular one is the module A which is the yellow stickered one. This particular module is very rare, very difficult to get hold of to review. I've only seen one other review on YouTube with this particular menu. So, let's get this on a table and see what this pack contains. And as you can see, I now have this Italian Army or Armed Forces 24 hour combat ration on the table. It's a very impressive, large, heavy ration. This is only the second one of these I've had. Um, and I've been holding out to find one a little bit different. So this one is the module A or the yellow stickered one. Um, there's only one other I can find been reviewed on YouTube. The very rare module A and don't hardly ever come up for sale. Um, as a result, this one has actually expired. Um, this one was on its best before date in 2020, manufactured in 2017, but I'm not unduly worried about that. As with all of these military rations, they're only best before, not eat by. You can probably eat them, well I have eaten them, 15, even 30 or 40 years. I did try a Vietnam period 40 year old one and most of those were still good. So I have no concerns just being a year or two out of date. So, three boxes. It does actually state on the back what is in each of them in three languages. It's in um, Italian, if you see there, British, GB, and French. So it gives you the breakfast, lunch, and supper components. Might be useful for translation as I go. Very heavy box, foil wrapped, looking for an easy open. No easy open, no easy tear. So I'm just gonna bring in my trusty old friend just to slice across the top. Did seem like that was slightly vacuum sealed, sort of gev as I uh, opened it there. One thing I've noticed, the boxes seem to match the labels, seem to match the color sticker, so you know they're from the module A. Now straight off the bat, we have the first one, which is, which makes sense, I don't know if it's going to focus or it's a bit too close. It is breakfast. And the next one, lunch. So the pre predetermined the meals, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So a very large box for lunch. And the last one at the bottom is the supper. Let's move that to one side. So we have breakfast a much larger lunch and supper. If we turn it that way you'll see the difference in size. So breakfast is a small meal, lunch is your big one, you can barely fit them on and the supper is a smaller so lunch is obviously your main meal. So I'm going to have to do this separately, I'm going to move those to one side while we have a look at the breakfast. So it is written on the top what is in there so I can check the translation so for breakfast they include a set of bags brown paper bags probably for rubbish or for any leftover spares there is a napkin and a single spoon we also have which is a nice touch three toothbrushes and a set of toothpaste obviously the Italian army love to look after their teeth um, while one toothbrush couldn't last you the day, seems awfully wasteful, but three toothbrushes and some toothpaste. We have some sweet biscuits. We also have some little jelly sweets, some little jelly candies. We also have more jelly candies, so two types. I think they look like cherry and they look like possibly apricot. So two types of jellied sweets, extremely sweet looking. Um, I think they are the water sterilizing tablets for the day. There is a mini chocolate bar. 
there is the stove, the folding stove and the fuel tablet. Looks like they get all the accessories out of the way in the breakfast. I think that is condensed milk. Let me just have a look on the front there. Yep, so condensed milk. Coffee. I think that is sugar. Salt. Some toothpicks, three toothpicks, and a box of matches. A little small box of matches. So, not a lot actual food content. Most of the breakfast is taken up with an awful lot of sundry items. The first use items. Breakfast itself looks like it consists of biscuits, condensed milk, uh, chocolate, and jelly sweets. So, I'm just going to put a lot of these contents just back in the box to make room the non-edibles so there's the non-edibles out the way so this is breakfast so move those to one side I must admit it's not exactly oh, some more don't need toothpicks I don't think I'll need salt at this stage but coffee sugar and an awful lot of sugar, sweets, candies, so that is the breakfast. Now moving on to what is the lunch, the large component. So this should be a lot of the tinned stuff I believe. So again, this time you have a knife, fork, spoon and serviette. We have more of the sweet crackers. We have what I believe is bran tablets, so a little bit of fibre in your diet. We have more sugar, another coffee. There are some energy tablets, so there are four energy tabs. I should imagine they're like a glucose energy tab. And there are tins in here. There's a second set of crackers. And this is tortellini in sauce so a pasta in sauce there is a tin of fruit salad and uh, a tin of what I believe is meat let me just check beef in jelly so surprisingly a lot of regular tins this is a throwback in the British MREs to the 80s so we used to have tins in 80s, early 90s when I first joined. I've not seen tins in rations since, so a little bit behind. Very tins, very heavy, but that is the lunch. And I just need to move the box to one side there again. I'm running out of space. So we'll now have a look at supper. Supper. And again, the supper. Another knife fork spoon accessory kit there is a couple of cereal bars two sweet cereal bars there is another coffee and another sugar there is let's have a look what it says on the box there tuna in olive oil so that must be the tuna in olive oil There is a tin of soup, so minestrone soup. Again, a large tin. These just look like standard catering tins and civilian tins. And another pack of biscuits. So, I'm running out of space. Because of the size of the tins, there is a very large selection. So, this is the contents of this Italian Armed Forces Module A. So let's come back with what I would consider breakfast laid out on a tray. Join me in a moment. And as you can see, I now have here laid out on the tray the breakfast components as listed by the um, armed forces for Italy um, 
It's very simplistic. I've removed all the other bits and pieces, like all the toothbrushes, everything else that was in there, and we're just left with some condensed milk, some soft sweets or candies, um, packets of biscuits, spoon, chocolate, and coffee. So, as always, I'm going to start where I like to always start, and that is with the coffee. I've just realised I've not put the kettle on, so I'm just going to put that back on. So you might hear that reboiling. I do apologise for that, so I'm not going to start on the coffee. You might have to put up with a boiling kettle at the side, it just proves these things sometimes go wrong. So I'm going to open the other components. This is the chocolate, it's milk chocolate, 49% cocoa. I hope the kettle noise there isn't too distracting. I do have a kettle at the side of me so things nice and hot. This chocolate has bloomed quite badly. It is a couple of years out of date this particular ration so you expect some blooming but hopefully that shouldn't affect the flavour. I'm also going to have a look at these jelly sweets. They are what I think is cherry and strawberry. So there's four of each. So first one I'll open and I think is the, the cherry. Got little pictures of cherries on the side there. So four of each. We won't be needing four. I should just put one cherry and one of what I think is the strawberry. Again on the side there. Little packets for jelly style candies. So there are eight candies. I'm also going to open what I believe is the condensed milk. So, nice large tube, certainly enough for the day. We'll just open that and break the seal. Already starting to ooze out, so just be careful where I put that. What should I do with it? Oh, sneaky taste, just to stop it spewing all over my tray. I'm also going to have a look at these biscuits, some of the old biscotto. There's quite a few packets of these in the whole day's ration. I think I need to bring in a friend just to open the top there. And, and as always, four little biscuits have suffered, they seem to be broken. They do have brake lines on there. As you can see, plenty, plenty. Still a few more crumbs in the packet. I won't be getting those out. We have plenty out there. So it looks like they they do come as a sheet with breakable pieces on, but they've already decided they want to break. And you probably heard the kettle just switched off. So we can take a look at one of the coffees. So, nice, fine powder. It is in good condition, despite being a couple of years out of date, the coffee has survived quite well. A nice fine dark powder there. I do like sugar in my coffee, so I am going to add the sugar. Um, about a teaspoon, I think there's about two teaspoons in there, so I'll add all of the sugar. Very little point opening my napkin and spoon because there's nothing really I need a spoon for. So apart from stirring my coffee, I'm just going to save that for a camping trip. It is just a simple plastic spoon and single napkin and call on the good old USMRE to help me out again. MRE spoon and half a cup of boiling water. So, no cold drink in this instance, so I assume the troops would just make do with water from their canteens. So let's have a look at this black coffee. Not bitter, slightly underwhelming. Is a recognisable coffee flavour. It's just quite strong, it's a strong coffee, but not bitter. Uh, I could quite easily fill that to the top, but I'm thinking in a minute of adding a little bit of the condensed milk to whiten it up, so I'll leave it as it is. It's a strong, dark, rich coffee. 
Again, it's that instant flavour. You can tell it's an instant, but it's not a bad one. I've had far worse. It is a reasonable coffee for an instant. Uh, everything is sweet, sweet, sweet. Not my sort of what I would call a breakfast, too much sugar. Um, so I'm going to start. Already had a sneak preview with some of this sweetened condensed milk. I did have a little taste off the cap when it was leaking there. So it is just sweetened condensed milk. Mm -hmm. Nice and creamy. Very, very creamy. Um, very, very sweet, as the name suggests. Um, in the UK, we have things like Cornish cream, which is a, a very creamy, rich cream uh, from Cornwall. Very much similar taste into that with sugar. Nice, sweet tasting. I'm going to add a little bit to the biscuit, but I'll try the biscuit first. Very simplistic. Light, white wheat biscuit. It is slightly sweet. So again, slightly sweet biscuit. I'm just going to pour a little bit of the condensed milk on there. The only thing you can eat that with. Mm -hmm. It's nice. It's sweet. It's crispy. It's crunchy. Lovely and creamy with the condensed milk there. Very tasty. Very enjoyable. Very nice. I am going to add a little bit of this condensed milk into the coffee. See if I can whiten it up a little bit. Just have to watch how much I put in because it will over sweeten it. It's a very sweet milk. So that's whitened that coffee slightly. Mm. For me. That's made it much better. Now it has a creamer flavour to it. The cream from that makes a nice flavour in the coffee. Mm. That's the way to go. Certainly add the sweetened condensed milk into the coffee to whiten it. Um, sugar, 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 sugar. I don't know what else to say. Um, have a look at this bloomed chocolate, which is 49% cocoa. So it's nicely, well, as you can see, it's bloomed. I say nicely bloomed, but it's bloomed right through. Crisp. Soft chocolate. Again, quite creamy. Not as dark tasting as I would expect from nearly 50% cocoa. It tastes quite milk, milky. But it soft. Melts on your tongue, coats your tongue very easy. Very easy melting chocolate. And it surprises me from a hot country like Italy. Italy, I know, has some hot temperatures. It seems a very easy melting chocolate. I'm sure back home these often melt, but it is creamy, it is rich, it is tasty. Wouldn't say the best quality chocolate out there, but certainly tasty, enjoyable, and most people would enjoy. I'll have a look at these two jelly sweets. There are eight. I'll have a look at what I think is the cherry one first. So in the shape of a little rosette. I don't know if you can see that there. So it's sugar coated jelly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just as it looks is as it is. Most people around the world would have had um, jelly sweets with a sugar coating. Nice flavour of cherry, that one. We'll have a look at the other. Mm -hmm. There's a whole row of fruits down there. Looks like an orange to me. I saw the strawberry, thought it would be the strawberry. Have a try. No, it's orange. Again, soft chewy, sugar crusted, 
good orange flavour. Nice, enjoyable, chewy sweets. So, excuse me. Overall, sweet, 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 sweet breakfast. That's really all I can say. All the components are enjoyable individually. Whether I would have them personally as a combination for breakfast, I think there's a serious sugar rush going on here, uh, so probably not. But the, what the components there are, they are certainly good quality, tasty, um, and the condensed milk, sweetened the coffee, went well with the biscuits, um, and everything else is nice and enjoyable also. So, this is the breakfast component from this module A, Italian 24 hour ration. So join me on the next video where I'll take a close look at their lunch and dinner components. But for now, thanks for watching. Please like, share, subscribe and hit that notification button for future videos coming very soon. So thank you and goodbye.